now uh, yesterday we saw k nearest neighbors uh, along with both d and e section now we are going to see the same code how we are going to apply the espn trick in four the bowlers class over here right now i'll open and show you uh, the, do you remember this code uh, scrapping espn batsman data the same code i copied here nothing different just the uh, changing it to bowlers and the link if you see i go uh, i use this link i go to espn trick in four i choose the stats I go to stats guru. I click test and bowling. And I don't uh, filter anything. I just want all the records because maximum uh, number of data set I need. So I submit the query. I'll have this. This is my link, right? We already scrapped the data from ESPN with respect to ODI batting. Now the same thing. What you are going to do is test bowling. So what is the change that happened in the URL is? Class is actually become one. If it is test, it is class one. If it is ODI, it is class two. And since the type is equal to bowling, means that I'm going to have test bowling. Previously, it was bat bat batting because we selected batting records. That is the only change I did. So I have here the same thing. Type will be bowling, and class is equal to one. Other things exactly same. I created a new file. I got a file ready, right? So this is actually the record. We scrapped the 24 data over here, right? Let me we, before directly going into the code explanation. Let me first say what we are actually going to do. Somebody even don't know about much about this data set. Let me first explain it, right? So span. Can anyone say what is span? My from 1992 to 2010. What is that? He played in between years. Yes, great. He played in between these years. I can call it as experience. And matches corresponds to how many matches he played, and innings corresponds to what is that is in a test match usually there will be two innings, first innings and second innings. So how many innings he played actually? Sometimes second innings may not be played. So how many innings he actually played? Two hundred and thirty. And since it is bowling records, right? How many balls he bowled, and in that balls, how many runs the batsman scored for his bowling, and how many wickets he took. And what is the best bowling per innings? In one innings, uh, how many wickets per number of runs he scored? Nine out uh, nine wickets for fifty-one runs is his best figure. Per match, totally twenty wickets will be there. Sixteen uh, wickets for two hundred and twenty runs he took. And what is his average? How many runs in an average he will give it? Is twenty-two point seven two. And what is his economy rate? How much runs? He will give per over. Per over there will be six uh, six balls. For six balls, how many uh, runs he will give? That is two point four six. And strike rate is is the most important parameter in both batting as well as bowling. That is strike rate in bowling is how many ball, how many wickets he will take per number of balls. For example, this uh, person M Murli Dharan is having strike rate as fifty five point zero. Means that. For every fifty-five point zero balls, he will take one wicket. Like this person, if for every sixty-five point nine balls, he will take one wicket. This person for every fifty balls, he will take one wicket. So if the uh, person is actually uh, more aggressive, he will be taking more wickets, but will give more runs. If he is not defensive, then he will not give runs, but uh, not take wicket also. That is actually the thing. So what we are going to use is we are going to use this strike rate as the classification record, and to say that if the batsman is able to take a wicket less than sixty-five balls per wicket, less than sixty-five balls, if he is taking, he is aggressive. Else he is defensive. So within fifty-five balls, now for every fifty-five balls in a test match, he is taking wicket. Now he is very good. He is very great bowler. He can roll six every forty-three balls. He will take a wicket. So the tendal is very good. So we can assure. So after eight overs, if I ask him to bowl, surely he will take a wicket. Like that, I can have a confidence. Some bowlers will be there. They will be bowling for more than twenty overs or one hundred and twenty, one hundred and thirty balls. They will bowl, but will not take even a single wicket. So those bowlers are maybe defensive bowlers or ordinary bowlers, right? So this is the thing we have, right? Now, can you say what is this span? Can I call this span as experience or not?
Yes, sir. Yes. What they, if span is experience, then what is mat and innings? Whether there is any relationship between span and the matches and innings or not? Yes, sir. Yes, surely there is an uh, relationship because number of matches, anything I can take, and balls also runs also. Now I ask a typical question. Here I said that number of runs a uh, bowler will give. This is number of runs per over, and this is actually number of balls to take a wicket. So these things are actually present here. Now separately also I am having runs, uh, wickets, everything. Now when I take these things into consideration. Whether this runs wickets uh, with respect to average and economy and strike rate, there is a relationship or not? What is this number of balls to take a wicket? What is this number of runs a bowler give per over? What is this now average number of runs he give? Separately, also I am saying what is runs, what is balls also. Whether it is duplicated or not, or any relationship is there or not? Is there or not? Okay, I am explaining again. I am having runs over here. I am having balls over here, right? So, what is this fifty-five called as? I want anyone to say what is fifty-five called as? Is everyone please be unmuted? Pa, please don't make make me ask the same question again and again. You may be intelligent, but please answer my questions also. Strike rate. Yes. What is what is that fifty five mean? What is that strike rate mean? We have the score. Number of wickets. Wicket taking. Yes. Sir. For every fifty five balls, he will take one wicket. That is actually called a strike rate. Separately, also I am having information about balls. Whether there is a relationship between this and this or. Or not? That's what I'm asking. Whether there is a relationship between this and this or not? Yes, sir. So whether there is a relationship? Yes, there is a relationship, right? Yes, sir. Yes. So if there is a relationship between two records, it is not necessary to take both. It, it can be taken, but before taking it up, we can actually consider whether it, it is duplicated or not. If it is duplicated, then it is not need to be taken. So what I actually take is uh, these balls or any one thing I'll take. So similarly, I have another thing that is over here is runs, and here I have something like average everything. So everything is actually related. So for an easier class, what I actually take is this DBI or BBM, and most prominently here average economy rate. With respect to this, I'm going to. Classify whether a batsman is aggressive batsman or a defensive batsman. Aggressive batsman in the sense. Aggressive batsman in the sense is they will be having a uh, number of balls less than sixty-five to take a wicket. Defensive batsman in the sense more number of uh, 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 balls they will be taking to take a wicket. That is actually the classification we are going to do. Now first let us scrap the data, right? Now I want everyone to open. Already you have scrapped the batsman data, right? So I want everyone to open that batsman data. The change is what I have done here is this particular fields record. See this change we can also do name, span, matches, innings, balls, runs, wickets, BBI, BBM, average, economy, SR, five, ten. What is five? Is number of five wickets in one match. One number of ten wickets in one match. That is five, ten. And this is an empty record for this triangles. Here we have some triangle line. If I click this, it will go in, inside that match by match record. So this is an empty string. So just to, uh, have these headings alone because they, we are going to scrap the entire data. So the heading should be like this. So first to change the headings like name, span, matter, innings, balls, runs, wickets, BBI, BBM, ABE, economy, SR, five, ten, and and uh, this empty. Yes. Then, if you have done, there is no changes here. It is a consistent uh, uh, data warehouse for cricket, so they will not have any that much changes in their uh, background files. To change the file name, as he has been click the bowling stats like that. Next, come here. If you have this, 
to change the class is equal to 1 to class yeah, sorry yeah, previously it may be class equal to 2 for odis you change it to class equal to 1 for uh, test matches next uh, type will be not batting now the type will be bowling that's just the changes now other changes we just run the program you will get the result will be getting like this this is the record what we actually needed this kind of record will be getting right yes so now shall we uh, proceed to the next uh, yes now yeah, those who have completed doing that please put it in the chat box once you have done it or shall we proceed i want uh, yes from uh, anybody can unmute and say shall we proceed to the next sir Yes, anybody can unmute and say. Okay, sir. Up to thirty-six pages, we can grab, sir. There will be non-all values. Okay, thirty-six also right. Then I'll include. I'll include to thirty-six. Thirty-six. So, okay. so I have to delete this. So thirty six in the sense we'll be getting around uh, uh, how much data per page per page fifteen. Around four thousand, na? Yes, so we have swapped it. Now we'll go into the next thing. Now what I just am going to do is, I'm going to read the data set. But like is uh, uh, exactly what we have done yesterday for a normal KNRS neighbor uh, program. The same thing we are going to do here, but with a different data set and some small small pre-processing steps. I'm take the data. So read a uh, CSV, ESP, and Crick Bowl stats, right? And then I print the head. Now I come over here. I do some pre-processing. in the earlier data set what we discussed yesterday we had a particular uh, column called as target class which read uh, which remained either as 0 0 or 1 1 like that means that it is a discrete item useful for classification i am going to proceed with strike rate for this particular data set but strike rate is in continuous values i need to change it into discrete so what i will do is i will create a function def discretize output it will take a list y and for that list what it is going to do is it going to change all the values in the list that if y of i that is any element in the list is having less than 65 i going to name it 1 means that if a bowler is able to take a wicket in less than 65 balls then i can say that he is an aggressive bowler and in the programming term i name his as class 1 and if he is not able to take a wicket in less than 65 balls i going to name him class 0 that is defensive bowler right this is the first uh, pre processing step i going to do that is def discretize the output the output value is strike rate so uh, this function will do that now i need to so next uh, i this bbi also i can do by in bbi we know that here we have 9 bar 51 this bar is actually a string it is not division we need to convert this So for this we need pre-processing that. Let us first uh, finish of these initial steps, right? Now I'll go down. I separate the features and the target. My target initially will be 
actually we will uh, we'll go with dba next first we will see y is equal to data of sr i am just copying it into y value my output value is going to be sr first i need to discretize my output because we know that classification algorithm will require the output variable to be discrete item if it is continuous item then we cannot do classification so i need to change my output to discrete so discretize output of y this will go to the function this function will be called and it will actually modify my data now let us see the modified data you see here this is actually the sr values which is actually being present now let me run it again now because we scrapped scrapped up to 35 pages yes now if you see how the sr values are being changed it changed uh, that is if it is less than uh, 65 it changed to 1 aggressive if it is greater than 65 it is changing to 0 defensive right so just uh, write uh, these statements i'll wait for it right just write these things that is this uh, import pandas everything is actually same as we used in the previous uh, program import pandas as pd import cborn as sns import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt import numpy as np and and uh, inline matplot matplotlib right so i want everyone to try this same thing what we have used in the previous k nearest neighbor program they are using here yes now we go now data is equal to pd dot read underscore csv esp in quick info yes Uh, you can take screenshot and let me know. Shall we? Shall we go to the next cell? Yes. Now what I do is now if you remember the previous class session, I have skipped one thing that is actually uh, scaling. I didn't do the scaling over here. Why? Because if you see the data over here, the data what I'm going to use is actually from twenty two point seven to two point four seven and fifty five something. The only record which is actually somewhat not nearer to this is going to be economy rate. Yes, so it is advisable to do scaling, but I didn't do that. Why? Because it is a test match. If you see in the test match, surely this economy rate will never increase uh, more than uh, uh, six or something. Everyone will be having uh, this value only, and this average also will be and uh, in somewhat level in, uh, in the number of runs will be because in test match no 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 one will score higher uh, higher runs or not. So this is actually the case. I omitted the uh, scaling. If you want to proceed with scaling, no issue. You can proceed with scaling also. Right? It is up. It's it's the intuition of the uh, person who is developing the model to do scaling or not. Right? I have the uh, thing that since it is a test match, the runs will not change more. And only the thing which is uh, uh, looking odd is the economy rate. Other than that, everyone are actually having the same kind of uh, pattern. So I didn't do scaling. Now coming over here, I draw the pair plot and the scene. So if you see the pair plot, pair plot, I can see many overlappings in the data. So linear separation between the data is somewhat difficult. Linear separation can sometimes be done between these kind of data. And for these kinds of data, we can do linear separations also. But they are linearly separable, separable somewhat. So we can do that. Here also, I can do some linear separations, but here and all not at all possible. So some things are there. So let us try to apply the k nearest neighbor over here. Right. First, let me run this again. This pair plot. Actually, pair plot will take time because there are twelve features. Yes. So this is the thing I got. I have more number of uh, overlapping over here. Yes. Now coming to here, I train the model. I uh, split the training and test cases. As per now, I take only the average and economy rate. Why? Because I know that there is a relationship between those things. I don't say that runs and balls are actually runs and balls are independent. But when I take runs and average or economy or SR, they are actually dependent. In uh, in the set of independent variables, the independent variables by do not should not depend on each other. So I don't uh, take uh, 
dependent uh, variables in x so i take only these two variables as well now and i run you can also take the best uh, figures per innings and best figures per matches also that is also independent but you also you can take so that is a training i take so x will be the average and economy rate sr will be the strike rate in zeros and ones aggressive and defensive and i give 30 percentage for testing and 70 percentage for training now we'll do the k nearest neighbor fitting yes and let us see the classification report yes now i'm getting now i'm making k is equal to 3 because i know what is the best value so initially if you fix k equal to 1 and if you run the classification report you will be getting like some 10 to 6 the errors are actually 10 plus 6 16 errors and the precision and accuracy levels are actually somewhat good they are actually 97 percentage right so now, now i come to here and i uh, make the error analysis to find the better k value so to find better k value i iterate to 40 uh, numbers this is actually this 14 as devendra as yesterday it is not fixed you can actually change with respect to that now we have totally uh, 1000 uh, or uh, how much records we have we can actually check and based on that if there are 1000 records you can take root of 1000 that much number of uh, values you can actually take so there are actually 1750 records available so we can actually take uh, a formula like root of 1750 can actually take that so 41 so 41 times you can actually do this 41 in the sense i need to put here 42 why because range will not take the final end value yes now i run uh, this error plot yes i here I need to make here 42 now if you see how the error is actually ranging my error is initially is in the first when k is equal to 1 it is actually something like this and then it is increasing then after from k is equal to 4 it is actually like this after k is equal to 4 it is never increasing it is never it is it is sorry it is never decreasing we want as low k value as possible after k is equal to 4 it is only increasing and not decreasing so from k is equal to 1 so i can fix that something like k is equal to 4 even though k is equal to 1 gives you a better accuracy rate it is not consistent why because k is equal to 2 is giving me a peak error and then again again it is slowing down so we need to give it k is equal to 4 right i keep it k is equal to 4 yes i change the nearest neighbor to k equals 4 is on the cross validation report yes so now the precision rate increased for aggressive batsman and decreased for 96 compared to the previous this may be somewhat more uh, accurate why because higher the training accuracy doesn't mean that we are model is good after cross validation we uh, we need to select a better model so that our test accuracy will also be good so this is actually the good accuracy level it's the same precision level 97 right so this is actually the case for espn cricket for record right the laboratory exercise now i am making it clear if i give any data set for k nearest neighbor and uh, with a classification column can you do the k nearest neighbor directly by using these uh, records yes or no so this is actually the case now i move up in the what question shall i keep my thing whether in cell 1 or cell 2 shall i keep i again asked a question i'm waiting for a reply cell 2 sir okay, okay yes once you are completed please let me know if any doubts you have with respect to k nearest neighbors you just please let me know
எனக்கு ஃப்ரைட் ரைஸ் லாஸ்டே வேணான்றது மாதிரி ஃப்ரைட் ரைஸ் வந்து ஃப்ரீ ஃப்ரைட் ரைஸ் டைம் கிவ் பண்ணு ஃப்ரீ ஃப்ரீ நான் வந்து எனக்கு வந்து சொல்றேன் ஓகே ஷாலை மூவ் டவுன் ஷாலை பா ஷாலை மூவ் டவுன் பா எஸ் சார் so after this column these are the outputs are you getting the output after you don't uh, want to write this uh, uh, comment lines and all that i can use when you are including that dbi also what i have done here is i just uh, uh, split the dbi with respect to wickets and balls and calculated wickets divided by balls so i want some other feature so i did that next line is this c1 so now going into the next uh, that is this uh, train test split don't want to type it again yesterday you would have typed right the same thing you can use here no differences except the input and the output and one more thing if you want to scale and do also you can do that is highly appreciable you can scale and do the standard scaler you can use and, and you can also uh, use that and uh, this is the final set and what is the value you get here based on that you uh, change the n neighbors value in kn right 